Travelling by quad bike on holiday is becoming increasingly popular. For some, it's an exciting way to travel, even if the roads and terrain are unfamiliar. Amana Karthi hired a quad bike with her aunt in Turkey three years ago. It's a ride that ended tragically. Mistakes can happen, can't they? You know, it just mm. takes one small mistake um, or one small incident that can change everything. Amana died after the bike she was on left the road and crashed. Her aunt who was driving was left with a broken pelvis. Amana hit into a, like a telephone pole um, and at that point it was just her head that had impact and the, the helmet broke to pieces. It was found in pieces on the site and um, she, she died almost instantly from those head injuries that she incurred. ABTA, the Association of British Travel Agents, have revealed there were 50 serious quad bike accidents last year with three fatalities. There were 18 moped accidents last year too. I don't think many people would think, OK, I'm going to go to work today, I'll hire a motorbike or a moped, I've never ridden one before and I won't put a helmet on. Off I go, you just wouldn't do it. But on holiday, it seems like the normal rules don't apply. I think partly because you're so relaxed, you think you're immortal. But the problem is you're not. As more people use quad bikes and scooters abroad, legal firms are now fighting more cases for injuries and compensation. I think it's really important that people know what they're insured for or what they're not insured for because it seems that they're just not aware that if something happens, the travel insurance company might not pay the med medical bills. Tashaka is now campaigning for universal safety standards for helmets. The travel industry is keen to remind people of the risks from hiring quad bikes and scooters. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.